we made big changes to the practice exams that come with the CCNA books for the new editions in 2024. In this short video, I'll tell you why we did it, and then I'll tell you how to get the most out of those exams. And make sure to watch for that part because it's different than what you would have done in the previous editions. All right, let's get into it. I've really been looking forward to the next few minutes with you. We made some changes and was just totally Wendell wanting to do this, and let me tell you why. So the big three things I did with these exam databases starting in mid-2022, and most of the work was done by mid-2023, is we modernized the entire question database. We added more questions. Now, some of those we had to wait on getting the exam topics from Cisco, so that happened in 2024. And as a result, we doubled the number of mock exams, that is, exam databases that you use for a timed practice test, those CCNA full exams if you've seen the previous video. So let me talk you through that a bit as to why we did things and what we did. So our internal processes are great at adding new questions when we create a new book because, hey, the author writes new content. Obviously, we need some questions to go with it. We're really good at removing questions when we remove content from the books, and we're really good at reacting to your feedback questions. If you use the app, there's a feedback button. Those feedback messages come into the publisher. If it's a technical question, it comes to the authors, and we can react to that. If you ask a question, we'll even typically give you a reply. If you don't ask a question, we may fix something and not reply to you. But what we weren't good at is just reviewing the questions for the sake of reviewing them. So you might have a question that's just fine, or maybe it's got a small problem, maybe the wording's a little confusing, but nobody's bothered to click the feedback button and say something about it. It's, you know, good enough. <clears throat> so nobody tends to complain. So what I did this time was I looked at every last question in the database and I took the time and gave myself the freedom to fix them, to change them, to improve them just because I wanted to make it a little better. So the net of that was out of the, if you ignore the book question exams, we had about 850 other questions from the part review and volume one exam, whatever, and volume two exam, whatever, in those databases, about 850 questions. I did major rewrites of about 100, and I did minor rewrites of close to 100, and I even gave myself permission to delete some just for the sake of, hey, this one's just too clunky, got rid of some, and then, we wrote some new ones. I wrote a bunch. My co-authors wrote some. My co-authors wrote some for the new exam topics that related to their content. I even copied a few from an earlier edition because we pulled a two editions ago chapter into the new books. Whew. So it was a net add of about 175 questions to the exam database. Plus, we've spiffed up the questions, made things more consistent, and so on. So I'm very happy with the improvement in quality as well as quantity that we got out of this project. And nobody made me do it at the publisher. It was just, hey, I want to do this. And they're like, well, okay, <laughs> please make our products uh, better and expanded. So we did that. And to give you some perspective, just visually, if you look at the print library, that's the two book set on the left. That's a perspective on the previous edition versus this one in terms of numbers of question and the premium edition library. That's the ebook. The ebook comes with extra questions, more exams. So again, the number of questions has increased there as well. In fact, that red bar on the far right, the premium edition, if you count the book questions, it gets over 1,300 unique questions available in the practice exams. Yeah, that's, that's a fairly ridiculous large set of practice questions that just come with the books. All right, what else do we change? Well. Previous edition, these are the covers for the retail, the print book on the left, and the premium edition ebook on the right for the books that have been selling from 2020 through 2024. So the CCNA full exams are the ones that you'd use for a timed practice event. You got two of those with the print books, and you got those same two plus two additional with the premium edition. So that's pretty cool, and that's the way it's been for a long time, actually. But we added a lot of questions, right? So we had more questions we could use to make those. Now, by the way, just to review, to create those full exams, we used the questions in some other exams, so you had some overlap in there. 
But for this new edition, and I talked about this in the previous video, we create these full exams with this model. We take the volume one exam one and two, create CCA full exams one and two, and likewise we take volume one and two exams two and create full exams three and four. Now, if that doesn't make sense, go back to the previous video. I spent a little more time on it there. Point is, for the new books, here's what you got. Here are the new book covers, print book cover on the left, premium edition ebook cover on the right. You don't get two full exams, you get four with the print book. You get those same four plus, you guessed it, four more with the premium edition ebook. So you get eight with the premium edition. So if you really like the idea of timed practice exams and never seeing the same question type uh, twice, <laughs> you're going to want the premium edition. It's just a, a ridiculous number of uh, practice questions. There are about 100 questions uh, approximately per each of those. So that's where we landed with our effort to improve the exams and expanded the number of practice exams. Now let me give you my best advice about how to make use of this greater set of practice questions. So we have these exams that are phrased or called CCNA Volume 1 exam something and CCNA Volume 2 exam something, but they primarily exist to support people who buy only one volume or the other, right? So you buy volume one, you've got some practice questions. You buy volume two, you've got some practice questions. But all the questions in those volume one and volume two exams are copied into those CCNA full exams to create them, all right? So they're in both places. So if you've got both books, you've got all these CCNA full exams, they're they're given to you as part of the volume two product. They're delivered to you that way. So I would say as a user, ignore the CCNA volume one exams and ignore the CCNA volume two exams when you're interacting with the practice test app and just use those CCNA full exams. All right, so that's the first recommendation, but how to use them. And to answer that, you need to think about the primary two modes you can use inside the app. And one's called study mode and one's called practice exam mode. So the words, the bullets on the right say the kind of things I'm going to say to you here. But here's the deal. In study mode, it's like, hey, I want to take some practice questions and see the answer right away, see the explanation, get help, be able to pause, answer one or two or three questions, and then go look things up and figure things out. So this is something you might do as you work through the chapters in the books over time, right? Hey, I just finished a chapter. Let me practice a few questions, that kind of thing. So in study mode, the app will let you see the letter answers right away, see the more detailed explanation as to why and, uh, each answer is correct and each answer is incorrect and so on. Practice exam mode lets you simulate a, an exam environment. So you get a timed exam event. You can select the number of questions, but you could say give me 90 or 100 questions, for instance, and take the full two hours like you would on exam day. You could choose a shorter time. But if you do that, I would recommend that you choose the settings that I mentioned in the bullet list on the right. Um, choose all the objectives so you get a timed exam over the breadth of CCA topics and randomize the questions in question order. One of the difficulties on the CCA exam, it's such a huge topic area. On the real exam, you're going to be bouncing around to every topic. So if you only practice by studying one small topic at a time, you really haven't prepared yourself. So make sure and randomize the questions as well. All right, so knowing those two modes, if you're going to use those CCNA full exams, here's one example of how you can make use of them. Say you're studying over time and you think, I want to do some study mode questions just to practice a bit. You can say, hey, I'm going to use CCNA full exams one and two when I'm using study mode. And that way, you use those and you don't touch exams three and four until you've finished both books. And then when you're ready to have a couple of time practice exam events, you can say, I'm going to use exam three only for one practice exam and exam four only for the next practice exam, so that you won't have used those questions and seen any of those, any of those questions before. All right, so you kind of split them up for those purposes. So that's one option. But if you really love the idea of timed practice exams late in your study, well, of course, right? 
you don't use those exams at all during the process. What do you use? You use the book questions, you use the part review questions, and you use all four of these exams for a timed practice exam event after you've read both books. So there's an option. And if you're really a glutton for punishment and just love practice questions, and I say that a bit jokingly, but hey, you guessed it, the premium edition has eight of these things, right? So you could go ahead and get the premium edition, and then you'd have the PDF and other ebook formats of the books. You could say set, a fi set aside five exams to use in study mode throughout the journey, and then have three exams set aside for timed practice exams at the end, or split them up any other way. So that gives you an idea of some of what I think are the best practices and how to take advantage of the larger volume and larger number of exams available with these new additions. Hey, I hope you found the video helpful. It's one of my favorite topics to talk about, at least for these new additions. As always, please subscribe, click the bell so you get notified. And as you regulars know, comment, share, and like. Let me know what your thoughts are so I can improve and make the channel better for you. Hey, thanks a bunch. Talk to you soon.